everybody, my name is Dinkon and I'm 8 years old and today I'm going to talk about Devil's Walking Suit. First, I'm going to talk about its body parts. They have three thin and long body parts, including the head, thorax, and abdomen. They have two pairs of antenna and five eyes. So, you may say, hey, you're kind of wrong. We only have two eyes. But this is true because you can only see two eyes right. And, but in the middle of the two antenna, there are three more normal, very, very tiny eyes. And the thorax has six legs and the abdomen is where all the other organs are. And the abdomen is the bottom part over here. Next, we're gonna talk about its lifespan. So, they have a short lifespan of two years. Okay, you think this might be short, but it's still good for an insect. But let's compare it with other insects. First, we're gonna do it with the praying mantis. Well, praying mantis will lose easily because they live a month or two. They have a very, very, very short lifespan. But if you compare with the queen termite, well, they will actually be loose because the queen termite will win it for 43 years. That means it's 45 years. But ants can even have a better score, which is 60 years. Now, that's a lot, right? Hmm. Next, we're going to talk about its diet. So, they're nocturnal, meaning that they rush during the day and awake during the night. So, why do they do that? Well, at night, it has less predators. So, you can hang out and eat as much as you want without being hurt. So, next, if they have a uh, no, well, not much predator, it's not always an easy life because most sick insects got killed and hunted by predators that are also nocturnal, like the praying mantis, and that sense that can like kill everything in the sky. Next, we're going to talk about its defense. Even though they have lots of predators, they can still defend themselves. First, they got to use one tactic, which is camouflage. What is camouflage? Camouflage is an adaptation that helps animals blend in the surroundings to escape from predators. And if, that, and if it gets spotted by a predator, they will actually shoot formic acid at the predators and make them blind. And what's formic acid? Well, formic acid is a liquid that that most animals develop to, to defend themselves. And here's the formic acid right under their heads. Next, we're going to talk about its size. They are mostly bigger females and smaller males. So, I'm going to compare two stick insects. They're the both same type. They are both devil's walking sick. And the, this is the smaller male and the bigger female. The male is actually smaller to the with the female since they only like they only can go over half the female. Next, we're gonna talk about its life cycle. They lay eggs. They hatch into young nymphs. And what are nymphs? Nymphs are young, young little stick insects. They can be any young insect. They can be uh, mantis sniff, grasshopper sniff, locust sniff. It can be any insect sniff. And then they will molt and molt and molt and molt again until they're as big as a female. So why would they turn into a female? The female does only actually clone herself. So it will only turn into a female, not a male. And the female can only lay eggs if it's mated. But devils, but stick insects, well, can lay eggs randomly. That means if it isn't mated, and if it is a female, it can lay eggs randomly.
randomly every time. So, bye-bye and thank you for listening.